right, this is first grade module two, lesson 29. And in this lesson, we're going to focus only on subtraction. And we're going to be, again, using that 10 as our benchmark. Uh, kind of repeating what we've done in previous lessons, only this time we're going to be notating it, writing it down in a slightly different way. Instead of just using this decomposition and subtracting from 10, uh, kind of in an informal way. This time we're going to continue decomposing and subtracting by 10, but we're, we're going to record our steps in two separate lines. So let's get going. So we are going to start by taking that 17, and they've noticed that they've shown it to us in that hide zero format. I don't know if at this point in the module it's really necessary to do that, but that's okay. So what we want students to see is that we want them to recognize that 17 is made up of a 10 and a 7. And now we're going to record our two separate steps. So we've got 10 minus 8 is 2. And now we've got 2 plus the original 7 gives us 9, so our answer is 9. Now, in previous lessons, what we would have done is we would have taken that 17 minus 8. We would have decomposed the 17 to be something like this. And then we would have kind of informally looped these together and said, oh, 10 minus 8 is 2 plus the original 7 is equal to 9. So we're doing the exact same thing. Uh, but now we're trying to write it in a more official, formal way. So now we've got some word problems to practice, that the same concept. It says, Eli read some science magazines, then he read nine sports magazines. So we don't know how many science magazines. If he reads 18 magazines all together, how many science magazines did Eli read? So the idea is we are going to be doing 18 minus 9 as our problem. Now, parents and teachers, if your students want, they are absolutely welcome to draw their picture, their word, uh, represent, draw their problem down here using pictures, right? So anyway, we're going to decompose the 18 to be 10 and 8. And now over here in our two specific steps, we're going to say, well, first we're going to subtract from 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1. And then we're going to take that 1 and add in the original 8, and we get 9 again. All right, so there you go. Our answer is 1. In the olden days, we would have done something like decompose the 18 to be 8 and 10. We would have circled the 10 minus 9 and made a 1, and then add in the original 8. And we would still get 9, but we would do it in an informal way, whereas over here we're trying to be a little bit more formal. Just one more example. Some students, some children are at the park playing soccer. Seven are wearing white shirts. If there are 14 children playing soccer in all, so that's the 14 right here. <laughs> Some, some children. So that's 14 children are playing soccer and all. How many children are not wearing shirts? So basically, we've got 14 minus 7. And we're going to decompose that 14 to be 10 and 4. So now our students are going to subtract from 10 to get 3. Then we're going to add in the original 4, and we're getting 7. So the idea is we are um, kind of turning this whole process of subtraction into an algorithm. Ultimately, of course, students are going to be stacking them up, getting the answer of 7. But we don't want to do this stuff until numerically, in, until it makes sense for the students. We don't want students to just blindly follow an algorithm. And that wraps up first grade module 2, lesson 29, solving subtra subtraction problems using 10 as our benchmark.